okay so i have posted a code in the chat can you please see that mm, where a okay let b equals to a uh, okay a uh, let a is taken okay okay cancel so log of p okay so uh, b will be like uh, mm, it can't be i mean you can you have multiple options like it can be 10 minus 10 minus 20 or it can show error so yeah. what will be the answer if i control yeah, log yeah. b uh, so it will take 10 and it is a block scope so should be should be minus 10 yeah it will be minus 10 as uh, can you explain why yeah so uh, so where it it is uh, like it has been updated to minus 10 and where is a global scope so the value will be put into b uh, after that a uh, where thing a uh, where a equals to minus 10 and after it is closed let b equals to a so a value will be put into b and yeah that b which is in scope it will be if we put inside that scope console log of b then it will be minus 20 but it is out of the scope that's why it is minus 10 okay okay so uh, i'll post one more yeah sure what will be console log b where b equals to 25 and where b and after that we are printing it right yeah it's just full uh, line code yeah it is yeah so okay. it will be uh, it, it will be 25 okay okay I'll just start with the questions. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, can you tell me about object-oriented programming concepts? Uh, so there are around four. Uh, you can say uh, concepts: uh, the polymorphism, uh, okay, abstraction, uh, right. There is encapsulation, and yeah, and I'm missing one. Uh, abstraction is done. Uh, polymorphism and encapsulation and there is one parent child i'm not able to remember that a parent there is one concept of parent child uh, yeah, yeah yeah that's inheritance yeah inheritance yeah yeah okay so can you describe about inheritance and give me any real life example uh inheritance you can say like uh, there is a, a feature in a uh, parent component it it will be there okay. in the child component as well so that is the uh, example of inheritance and uh, the other thing you ask is any real life example for inheritance a real life example like uh, like my father has some features like he's right. uh, so he has a mark so i even i have a mark so that is what i have uh, what I can see in real life. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. So, do you know about class and object in op operating computer system? Class will do is like uh, what we can say. It creates a template. You can say for uh, like for different objects. Whereas class and other thing you ask is objects, right? Object. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so classes will like create the template for for objects, and we can create multiple objects depend on the class. Okay, so if uh, there is a class called car, yes. Uh, what all will be its properties? Uh, its properties will be uh, wheels, engines, uh, 
and like basic uh, uh like cars like four uh, it is it will be a four wheeler it will have engines it will have brake and okay, yeah so okay. these common things uh, so is it possible to have a function as a property in a class as a property right yes yeah okay uh do you know about polymorphism uh yes no like it it will have like uh, you can say many forms that is a polymorphism okay okay so how much do you know in css uh, uh if i give rating then like you have worked as a front end developer right yes, and yes. Uh, were you using any kind of uh, frameworks in css uh like i have used bootstrap okay yeah so and uh, i'm on the learning phase of uh, material ui okay okay so do you know the difference between visibility hidden and display none so display none and visibility hidden both are used for hiding the element but uh, the display none it is used for like it it won't take any space whereas visibility hidden it will take some space in the layout so that is the main difference so visibility hidden will take the space okay uh, do you know the difference between margin and padding so padding uh, padding is the space which will be inside uh, like whatever the space uh, so padding is space which will be inside the element whereas margin is a space which is around an element so that is the difference okay So, so you are good with JavaScript, right? Yeah. So, what is the difference between double equal to and triple equal to? So, uh, double equal to it will be like it will check the values of both the data. Like if both the values are same, then it's uh, it will be uh, true. But the, uh, triple equal to it is a strict checking. It will check value. as well as data type okay difference between set timeout and set interval so set timeout it will repeat the execution of function whereas uh, the set in like set timeout uh, so uh, so sorry so set interval it will re- uh, repeat the execution of the function whereas set timeout it will wait for the uh, specified seconds which we have mentioned and then it will execute that function so that is the difference so it will execute once set time out whereas set interval it will after specific intervals uh, it will execute repeatedly okay okay and uh, where let and const there are three yeah, types right yeah so what is the difference between all the three uh, so var is a function scope whereas uh, they are uh, look like local scope uh, the const and let they are the local scope uh, whereas uh, let it can't it can't be de- redeclare for var we can redeclare it uh, and the const the value of for the const it will remain the constant throughout the program whereas for uh, Yeah, so these are the few difference uh, which I can think of for let var and const. Yeah. yeah. So let's move to the React. Um, yeah. What are the advantages of React? Advantages. Uh, the main advantages. Uh, we use. Uh, what we can say is virtual DOM. So virtual DOM, like, uh, what it will do is like. Uh, so it it helps in read rendering purpose so it is faster in uh, read rendering as compared to uh, you can see the other frameworks uh, like angular or whatever view so it is faster and uh, mainly due to virtual dom uh, due to which its performance speed is uh, whatever the performance and speed is there so it will get increased due to which and uh, Uh, we can reuse the components uh, and and 
yeah these are the few things which i can think of as of now okay and uh, if you want to pass data from one component to another then how can we pass uh there are three ways uh, but no uh, okay. in like we use props uh the other one is context api and the third one is redux uh no i'm just asking from one component to another uh, like props like, uh, yeah yeah props yeah okay so we also have one hook to use state right have you used that yes okay so uh state and prop which are mutable like props will be immutable okay yeah props will be yeah props will be immutable props will be immutable immutable yeah. and uh, do you know what is meant by mutable like why props are immutable because we cannot change uh, like component is not allowed to change the props that's okay. why it is immutable okay okay got it yeah. and if we want to pass data among the components like there is a state and if we want to pass in different components and they are not next state then how can we pass if they are not nested right so we yeah, can yeah i mean a uh, common one we can say we can use context api in case of that okay okay so uh, what is the difference between use state and using state in context api use state use state in context api you mean to say yeah we have we use use state in a component yeah and then we have context api right and both are used to maintain state yes so what is the difference between both of them so difference is uh, like use state it like it allows us to track state in the functional component whereas uh, in context api like avoids the prop drilling okay and the, uh, have you used uh, context api uh, i i have preferred mostly redux as compared to context api okay so uh, can you just uh, give me an example like where all we can use redux i mean which all state we can use in redux like uh, at what situations we use redux in preference like as com why yeah, like if uh, over we have context api no not for context api if we want to manage state so we can manage in the component itself with use state and we also store few states in redux right yes so how do you uh, decide which state to put in redux and which to use in the use state hook like if multiple components are wa like want to have an access to that state then we okay. put that in redux okay okay got it um uh, what are react hook react hooks are like uh, they are nothing but you can say functions like they are functional components uh, like uh, we can say use state use effect use memo use ref use reducer okay. so they are nothing but you can say features of like they are nothing but javascript functions you can say okay okay yeah. and how many uh, hooks you have used i have used use state use effect use memo i have used use ref i have used use redus i have used okay so what exactly you do in use effect so use effect like uh, if you want to like uh, mount update unmount then we use use effect okay and uh, for uh, use memo why do we use that use memo is used to avoid read rendering so for for that purpose mostly we use like like it returns memo as value so like it avoids read rendering purpose like if it has been updated to the same value then there is no need of read rendering 
at that situation we use use moon okay okay got it and um, uh if we want to call an api in which hook you prefer you, you must have fetch api yes right? yes fetch api yes yeah so in which hook you, you have use used? effect okay so and you don't have uh, any experience in back end right like mm. all the few projects were completely in front end side yes yes it it was in okay. front end okay and uh, uh, are you ready to work as a full stack here yeah i'm like uh, i'm or are you more towards front end only no 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 i want to explore as much as i can so like i'm open to like exploring okay and uh, so back end you don't have experience any experience in database yeah i have worked like for few like a month in uh, mysql but it was okay. not much of fix like a month so i don't know how much experience that comes all right so i'll just ask a very basic query yeah sure if uh, i want to select a particular thing right so can you write that query select a particular thing means uh, select, uh, select like a particular column i mean like select star from okay uh, we can write where condition if we if you can provide where condition like age greater or like okay that is fine uh, but if uh, i want only one column from a row so if i have email a uh, first name last name age and i just want a first name from that row so what will be the query uh select uh, a particular yeah. name right yeah uh select name equals to whatever the name is from table name okay. uh, no 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 uh, select name sorry uh, i got it wrong select name from table name and whatever the name you have put so i will put that in condition like where name equals to that condition like whatever the name is and according to the condition it will extract the uh, particular column okay and this not my concern was uh, were, are you like ready to get into full stack because your yeah. experience is completely in front end that's right yeah yeah i am like i want to explore as much as i can so that won't be an issue for me okay so that's it from my side yeah uh, i'll give my review to hr and she'll contact you yeah sure yeah yeah okay thank you thanks yeah